Conference at 8.30. Hey, Ryan, you have some good news? Yeah, the uh, sold the trucks in Truck and Prairie yesterday on Purple Wave. Uh, got 13500 for the truck and got uh, 4600 for the sprayer. So really pleased with both those, really pleased with the sprayer. Say that again, 4600 for the sprayer. Thirteen five, thirteen five hundred trucks. Better than trading. Yeah, way better than trading. So it kind of blew up right at the end. Yeah, the last thirty minutes it just because that's I was sitting on home. I always think they ought to shorten that periods up a little bit. Don't bid till they get to the end. Exactly right. But so I was just wondering if that's all right if I that money comes in if I put that back in my capital out there. I think so. You're good enough to put it in the regular budget first. Will you get that before the end of the year? I would think so. I would think so. Usually pretty quick that thing. Because they have to pay before they can pick it up and they're supposed to have picked up in two weeks. Two weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah. So okay. two weeks so you'll have it. You should have it before the person So okay. Yeah, you can go ahead it'll have room. to go in your regular Okay, okay. or then the transfer. Okay. Do you have an idea how much you have to pick up just off the top of your head? Probably about 5000 because you just bought the trucks. Yeah, with the with the building last year and the truck this year, I mean, it's down to, as I feel, yeah, I'm ready to get something back in it just in case of an emergency. Did you Maybe see anything worse. for the next couple of years that you may need to buy? I shouldn't. Yeah. The truck, the building's in good shape. The boat is still low iron. Do you use that vehicle much for the, uh, from the, uh, that you have. Yeah. Yeah. Especially like especially when it's cold out, so I'm not taking a spray truck out to check oils and stuff. And I use that. And I just take that. That's why I go to meetings. It's a lot better gas numbers than one time truck. A little easier to park. Too. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's, it's yeah, that's been a lot since. So, is that water on something? Turn it out to be more about what you thought. It's actually it's a little more. I mean, I'm actually surprised by how much. Like the, this year, I've got what, 55 wells and you know, what, 49 completed. I still have six in paperwork down on six that are in completion, and I have paper. People came and got paper for, or came and got permits, uh, applications anyway, for another five more. I'll do them this year with them next year. These are new water wells? New water wells. The nasty? Hey. Um, most of your life's not. Did you go and look at them before they drill the well? Yeah. The site? Yeah, they have to come and in. Then you look at the completion. Yes. And then because the well drillers have to, I mean, put it in this, make sure it's in the spot that I asked them to put it in. And then it's got to be sealed in 12 inches above the ground for flooding and everything. I mean, the well drillers are all licensed. So, I mean, that. And so it's usually, yeah, with, with a well, it's usually two. Inspection and the septic. I've done. I've had eight. Six of them are completed, and two are still ongoing. And that usually takes three inspections for, for those site inspections and then meet with the, with the contractor and then at the end. As they start doing, I have to go out and as they're finishing before they cover anything up, I have to go and inspect and make sure it's all what we said. So, like, if I wanted to put out a water well and you're going to make your two inspections on it. How much is that going to cost me for you to inspect it? If the inspect it's fifty dollars, because that's the permit fee, and that includes both inspections. And then what is it for septic? Seventy-five. So, so. You think that's adequate for it's your time? Probably not. But the, the people around here are, that are already paying tax. I mean, these are all taxpayers around here. I didn't. Yeah. I mean, I know that the, the, the Central Kansas is maybe a hundred. It's over. Probably 125, 150 or something like that for there. I just, I mean, since they're already, you know, their taxpayers in there, and yeah. I just you know, keep it low. I mean, you guys, I mean, you can look at the budget and look how it affects my budget and everything, but I mean, if you want to talk about it, that would mean it's up to you guys. But I just like to keep it low for people who do it. And I, actually, I mean, I haven't, I don't know, maybe you guys have heard something, I haven't heard any complaints or anything, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's a good sign, so. What's the, like, do you have to pick the site or approve the site? Yeah. Well, why? Well, just so they don't put it in a low area that could flood. 
Okay. And it also has so, so many separation distances. In Stafford County, it basically has to be 25 foot from a property line and 50 foot from anything else that could be considered a, a contaminant hazard, like a building, um, a building, another well, a pond, a creek, or anything like that. It has to be 50 feet from. And, uh, and so that's yeah. I just got to make sure. And like I said, the well drillers I deal, drill, deal with are all really good about it. If they have a question or if they think that it's been moved or something after I've been out there, they, they're really good about it. So. He's collected three thousand two hundred fifty dollars over half the time. So if a person had a complaint about somebody else's well as far as thought that it was in a poor place or was broke off the ground a lot of not cap. Not who would they talk to about that? Would that be something that they bring to you? Yeah, it you brings me, and then yeah, yeah, and then if I'm not sure, then I bring KGG. How about drilling Doesn't that go to you too, though? Yes, it does. Oh. You haven't checked your alerts out when they're drilling their well to pump water through That's when they're drilling all wells. I, I, well, I do those. Yeah, they have to come to me and. Permit, permit to me to do that. They used to use that pretty badly. <laughs> it's something anywhere and never ever anything with them when they left. Well, see, that's what they're supposed to. They're supposed to plug them if they're not going to be back in. A lot of them go the, the landowner would like to keep it for a livestock well or something. And so then it's through that. But no, they have to come. They have to get an, an application and permit through me before they can do that. Yeah, they left one on me and then the. Sprayer guy drilled over, broke yeah. it off. I plugged it. But, but yeah, yeah, there's both. They, 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 they just left it. Right. See, that's a, they didn't there, ask her, you know. there is a big push uh, uh, that was brought to KU uh, Medical has started this big push on water wells. And there's going to be an extensive thing. If they get everything they want, it's extensive. Which, is going to require us to go out. And anytime you go to a, a well site, you have to go and inspect for any uh, abandoned wells. And then they want, they're talking yearly inspections on every water well, which would be impossible. Around here. And I mean, just anywhere. And I mean, there's just a lot of stuff they want to, they want to really. And I mean, and some, of it, some of it makes sense. I mean, just, just for the, yeah, you're exactly right. But then a lot of it is not going to be very feasible if, if it goes through that way. So, I really wonder if you have records. Or <coughs> that, you I'm still trying to get records <laughs> from them. So that's, that's, he's supposed to be giving me those at the end of the year for Stafford County. Yeah. Let's see. How about guys that put a 20 foot joint of pipe and that you know, start farming over and stuff like that. There's a lot of those. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I said, yeah, because we, I, we have no idea. A lot of, and a lot of the sandboy stuff you guys do yourselves, there is no regular. Right. I know there's one on my field that I think, I think there used to be a well there, and I always stay away from it, but you can't see it or anything. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid there's a, there's there's a, a lot, lot of that. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, if you guys have heard anything, then I think it's going all right. So. And these septic systems, are these new or the ones that have failed? Well, there's the both. Yeah. But to, to get cost share through the soil conservation, they have to be failed. And that's where most of them have been. Otherwise, yeah, any any new construction or anything, I have to improve, uh, improve to, uh, to get my cost share through the has to be failed system. So on new ones, you still do they still require a perp test? No, perp test is no longer required. Actually, see that was it. when I got my permit, I had to drill 14 holes, fill them with gravel and sand, and run around and pour water in the hole. Well, you have to because you have to keep them saturated for 24 hours yeah. before you actually do your perp test. Yeah, because you know we talked about that before. You said you just pour water in with them, but yeah, you have to keep it saturated for 24 hours before you can actually perform the perp test. And, but now they've gone away from the perk test because most people have, well, I mean, the soil surveys, you have yeah. those, but a lot of them you have to do a soil profile. That's when we got to do it, we have the contractor comes out with an excavator or with their backhoe 
and you have to dig a five foot hole and you go down and mm -hmm. clear the many layers and you have to say what's and that's still something I mean I don't do enough of it to be that good at it. But if you have any, you know, the clay hard clay or anything where you have limited layers you have to decide because if it's too high then you have to go up above ground and do a mound system where you can do uh, drip systems and pressurized systems and there's, there's a lot of money to do. Be crazy they, they, they don't do the ditch system. Oh, yeah, that's that's easy. Easy. Just where your runs out of the ditch. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm afraid the project still is. Three feet. For the sewer? The gray water. Yeah, I'm afraid there. I'm afraid yeah, there. I'm afraid there probably still is. But I, I, my, thanks. You're welcome. My, and it's up to you guys, but unless I get a written complaint, I'm probably not going to follow up. Unless somebody will write a complaint, put their name on it, I'm not going to follow up. I'm not going to go with the neighbor getting mad. Just do don't that. tell I'll anybody that. I like to read that. Unless I have a written complaint, I'm not going to follow up for a long time. time. So. Yes, 
if he wants to. If he wants to. He might as well. Okay. This is second. Second. All right. It's been moved second. We go into executive session for non-elected personnel with uh, Nina and Mike present. All in favor say aye. 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 I make a motion that um, Don Keenan <clears throat> increase from range eight, step four, to range eight, step six. Second. Uh, effective date uh, January first of nineteen. It's been moved and second. We uh, increase the Don Keenan from step eight, step four, from to range eight, step six, effective one one of 2019. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. I make a motion on Marilyn herself. Just make a uh, step raise from range eight, step four, to range eight, step six, effective date will be January 1st of 19. Second. And then second, we increase Marilyn Grizel from range eight, step four to range eight to step six, effective 1 1 2019. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Here's the written today, isn't it? Carl, where? On this GIS and stuff, where, where does pictometry come into this? And also, the state now has done a new flyover or whatever. Whatever the, the yeah. yeah. How does this all? Does this all dovetail in, or is they're all separate? You can. You ready to do that? Yeah. Okay, please. On the GIS, you have to remember there's layers. If we go look at the layers in our auto guess that you're going to have photography from like say 1999, 2004, 2009, 2015 when you flew with pictometry, and then the photography that, that, that placed on top. Those are all still there, you just turn them off. And you turn on the layer that you want. Of course the most current is, is, is nice. Um, and so that goes into through the state, through DAS, mm -hmm. through Kristen, and then they send it out to us because it's all rectified and then we can put that into a layer. Okay? The difference on that and when you fly is usually with DAS, they like the green pretty photos. And when we typically fly, mm -hmm. fly for the appraiser's office, it's usually with leaf off. It's kind of under photography, but you can visually see things better. Pictometry was only 15 in, in, in February, and the sun. so it's all useful. It is. Um, does that answer your question? Basically, I just see that there's some repetition. Well, you have different organizations, and and and, and they actually are the ones that are flying the most right now. And from my understanding, they might fly every two years. Is that right? Um, Sheriff might know that better than me. To get the photography to be put into that 911 addressing system. So it doesn't have the capabilities of what pictometry does by, by measuring height and depth and 3D views? Yeah, that would be in the program because what they give us is the photography that would be on depending on what kind of program you would have. Now, pictometry, what, what this other photography doesn't do is they don't have that six angles. So you can't look at the front of the house or the back of the house or the side of the house. You just look from the top down. The ortho view. That's the big difference is the commentary we flew closer to the ground and then they had the six cameras that gave us all those angles. Which was going to be used for, you know, that's why a lot of the manual going to use it. A lot of highway patrol people. A lot of fire departments use them in the big cities because they can see that building before they get there. And 
to where I would cycle going in and, and, and this one. That's the difference with pictometry. You know, you're talking about layers. Mm -hmm. That's surface, and then also is there one where it shows sewer lines? And you would have to make those. Nobody has made those in our jurisdiction. They might have them, but they haven't put them out on pictometry. So what comes to my mind, and we discussed this several years ago, mm -hmm. that when the, the tornado hit Chapman, mm -hmm. that the GIS person who had Dixon County was able to generate these layers to where say, okay, here's the substation, here's the gas lines, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. And they said it really helped when they went in to assess the damage to make certain there's no one if you're still in a house or a barn or whatever. So that's why I was wondering about when you're talking that, layers. That takes, that takes, it takes time and commitment from that entity to do that. The city of Chapman spent the time doing those mm -hmm. layers then, and they either, the GIS person either was with the city, or if they was with the county, the city made those layers available to the county. And so the county, or whoever was the GIS person, could make those maps for the people coming in on the disaster. But you gotta make the layers. You have to you, you have to have your entity make those layers before something happens. See that's what I'm that's the kicker about the layers. That's what we tried that's what we tried to do when, back in fourteen when we bought the commentary is we had those meetings and everybody was for it. And everybody was kind of gung ho to go out there and get these manholes uh, get get all the piping, get everything, and then over a period of time, they don't do it. And, and that's what, if you remember, even for, after the first year in 2016, I was really disappointed with how many entities didn't use the company that said they would. Mm -hmm. and, and, and which they pay part of. That's right. That's right. So it was money down the rack. Because, I mean, we use it all the time, you know, but it wasn't used like everybody said we were going to. Because we had some big meetings, and we even used the school's uh, IT lab. And, and we wanted everybody to use it and make, just even make a layer a, a year. If they're making them, they're not giving them to us. And see, it wasn't, it really wasn't cheap. No. Mm -hmm. To fly the camera. No. Mm -hmm. So it was 20 the city mm -hmm. that we're mm -hmm. And then we, of course, needed it out in the county and, and so forth. And, you know, we talked about, you know, one time when, it, when and if uh, a wind farm would come in, you know, that would be a good time to refly. It would be well worth it at that point to spend the money to get the second flight. Um, but that's not going to happen either. The wind farm. Well, we can't rule out solar. Well, we would, but we wouldn't need an aerial for that. No, because the usually your 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 of course your wind farms carry is such of a large area, and then a, a solar would be on like a quarter or right. two quarters. Right. Like but did that help? Yes. Okay. So speaking of. The GIS, the mapping, and so forth. We use Autodesk, and you know, um, it, it's, a, it's a crippling system. And like I said, it's down to six counties in the state right now that have Autodesk. Uh, we've always wondered if something would have, we'd have to hire a GIS person, what that would cost us to run that system. And it really would be too sad to hire a have to hire a GIS person on a system that you know is already crippled. Uh, to me, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, so I did, I, I ran across it, I, I thought of, what if we went back to a consultant to help with our mapping? And I went up and talked to uh, Kimball Mapping in Manhattan. He actually used to work for Stafford County. Uh, he was our consultant way back when. And um, this is kind of the system where, where I'm thinking. And he's going to put a proposal together, I'm going to bring it in to you guys, and we're going to kind of see where we're at. Um, to do the conversion, it typically costs them $7,000 per county, okay? To 
to do that conversion from Autodesk to ArcView. ArcView is what Kimball now does? Yes, okay. yes, sir. Yeah. And then their typical contract, they have 28 counties right now uh, where they do the, do the mapping and so forth, um, is between nine and $12,000 per county per year, which is barely even the employee's benefit package. For a year. So this is what kind of <coughs> caught my caught my eyes because I thought it was going to be a little more than that. Actually, is we could actually we wouldn't have to go find this high dollar person then for Stafford County because we, we would have assistance with professional people uh, that would check into it. It'd kind of be like Randy. I mean, it'd kind of be your mapping consultant outside the county that can web in at any time. Does he do the mapping or do you no. just, well, he just trains? No, some. they're going to do some of them. So say uh, say what would happen, if this is where it would be a little different for us. Say I bought your quarter of ground. And so the deed comes in, it's recorded to me, we get a copy, and we're reading the deed, Maryland's reading the deed, and everything that looks on this deed, the northwest quarter of 2252. Um, that's what the deed says, that's what Orion says. We work the deed. Okay? If something if a deed comes through and it says on here lot two and three and block nine, the deed says that and Orion in the past has been lot one, two, and three, block nine, we have either a split or something's wrong with that deed. We would scan it and send it to Manhattan. They'll review it on our system make the split if it's necessary, send it back, and then we finish it in Orion. This is kind of like the second eyes. Uh, they would do all the splits and combinations again. And, but we would do, and it's updated nightly then. Our view would be better. So if we did a name change or a sale, didn't send it, it would be on their system the next morning then. Right. But this is a nightly update. Do they upload the DASC? Right? Yes. Nightly? Mm -hmm. Yep. Because yep. um, I know a lot of people go out to that DASC system. And look at stuff. Yeah. It's having a little popular. DASC is a good system. I mean, it really, it is. It really helps the counties a lot. Now, is this the one where a realtor could go in and look? That's What's um, that program? That's your parcel search. DASC does help with that because the free one is pretty well updated by DAS. Yeah. And it's a good system. It doesn't have everything that the realtors or the bankers might want, but it has everything we would want. It has your basic system. Yeah. It's a basic system. And it's that's free. It. Yeah. And it would be a seven thousand dollar No that's that's we jumped off the uh, we jumped we jumped we jumped the state system. So I was doing like this and you guys went that <laughs> yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was place <laughs> <Okay. laughs> On there. Okay, now so this DAS system you guys were talking about isn't the ARP? No. Okay. No, that's, this is, that DAS is a state system. Yeah. And is that what we're using now? Actually, what we tried, we were going to try to do, and that's in my budget. Okay, so let me go back to this here. So now I'm thinking, okay, at the most, we could have $12,000 contract a year. That would be for the ARP. That would be for the ARP. That would be with Kimball Mapping. But is there a one-time fee of 7000 Yes. Now, and he wasn't sure if you guys could do this, but some counties it says how far out will you go on a contract, and he's going out five years on contracts now. He said if, if, if our county wanted to do a five-year contract, they would. that's far enough ahead to where they would waive the $7,000 conversion. Now, where he wasn't, he wasn't sure, and, and, and you might know, can they sign a contract that far out? Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. You say yes. But, but that would be, and I said, well, how can you do that? And he said, what that is, is that gives them enough contact with us that they would do that for free now. So we wouldn't buy any, we wouldn't buy any software. They've got the license, they're going to bring it to our computers. What does that licensing cost us? It would cost about $7,000 the first year. No, 
what we have by licensing now to use the. Oh, okay. The, the D. Oh, very good. The auto gas. Yeah. Okay. DLT costs us about twelve hundred a year. Yeah. So we're already spending that. And yeah. If we do this, we'll do it. And I got a couple other bad good things here too. I am going to be short though. Okay. 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 Um, on that. So remember, I didn't budget the twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollars. This auto desk is, is crumbling quicker than we anticipated. Um, it's actually crumbling in Pawnee and Stack in Elgin County too. Um, so I would like to try to do this for 2019. Um, but that I thought that was a good way to do it. If we did a five-year contract, if we can do a five-year contract, that takes care of any upfront money. We're going to do this conversion. What the county, what we have to do if we sign the contract is we have to send our files to them, to Kimball Mapping, and they start the conversion. And then they'll come down and, and load, I don't know if Nita wants a copy of our view, but we'll load our view. And this would be an advantage too, because Autodesk is just on Maryland's computer. We can load it on all three computers, our view. And if you remember, we have that plotter, so we can plot, we can print any map that we want to at any size. Uh, one thing that they do that is nice is they update the, the land use map. The one thing they do is they make their own directories for the counties with the wall maps, with the names on there. You see, that changes yearly, and they make the map for us if we want to take care of all the use maps whenever she is. I mean, it, it, it's, it's more than just the appraiser's office is going to use it. This isn't for the public, like pictometry or like, you know, yeah. but, but this is going to be for, every department can use it uh, if they wanted to. But, so that's kind of where I'm thinking right now. So on this here, so if you take the, I, I, let's, can, let's just say our contract, let's say it would be $11,000, okay? We're just picking between. We have 1200 for DLT that I did budget for in the 2019 contract on budget. I had DL, which is Autodesk. Okay. I had $1,160. I had that ATCI, which I'm not happy with them. That was our parcel search that we was going out on the wind with. That's not worth it. We're not going to do that. That's $2,600 in the budget. You have to pay the thousand each. So I would have, how much is that? Thirty-seven hundred dollars. That I have to borrow from. Um, Two. Yeah, I have to borrow. Um, so I have been for nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. See, at first we had a problem with with a new employee. That's not that's not my problem now. Now it's the map because 2020. When we, when we sit down and do our my budget in May or June, we'll probably just have more than one conversation. You guys will have to want to know what, what, what we're really going to do and where we're going with this thing. Well, this probably wouldn't replay the appearance of that, but we'd still have somebody. Really but you can hire somebody. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. right. See, at, at one it's point, see, at one point, what we were thinking is, if we did have to go and get a GIS person, where was we going to put them on this step and range? Because they would, they would, they would have to start higher than the step eight range eight to even have somebody come do this. We don't have to do that now. We, if we go this route, we, we take care of that problem. Okay. It's something you guys would have. It's something you know. It, it, it's just a little more. I think it might be better for where we're at now in the county. We could probably pull some of that out of the IT budget. Yeah. 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 He did say, and this is where we might would want to talk to maybe today, I don't know, that in some counties they're Registered deeds help pays out of their tech fund because it actually helps them also because it, it catches all the deeds that are incorrect. 
in uh, another one that helps pay is the sheriff's department because they get into the 911 address and they usually have a fund. In some counties, it's not all paid out of the police's office because it's, it's used a little bit more pressure to be had. But so you're anticipating this fee is going to be around seven thousand. No, about eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Yeah. Carolyn, what we're going to say? Thirty eight thousand dollars. Okay. How much? Is that? And she might not even do that. Take it out of the search. Well, I do have that little tech fund thing. Now that's but a good idea. Here. Wait a minute. But out of your eleven thousand, you've already got basically three thousand, right? Yes, sir. So now we're just down to uh, seventy-two hundred. Seventy-two hundred. And are we talking about just taking them out of everybody's funds a little bit this year, and then we can start budgeting into your fund the whole year? in two thousand twenty? Yeah. You see, two thousand twenty, I would have to, I would have to budget for this. This would be a contract line item in for phone services. That would change there, and then we have to change then for the in 2024 uh, employees. But you're only going to increase your budget basically 70. Well, because you're going to take those other two deals off. Back off, yeah. Uh, yeah. And we will use that. And what, what I would like to do then is use that auto from uh, uh, the partial search for the well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? From the state. Yeah. Um, Mark said yes, you can sign a five year contract, but it will mm -hmm. need to be encumbered and taken out of the current year's budget. And that's what five years? Are you serious? So if you sign the contract, it's well, we, if, we, if we know that information, let's let us work. Let me share. We're talking to Luke uh, Kimball. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh, maybe we can have a verbal. Yeah. And because I think what, what's going to happen is I think we're really going to see this is going to help us where we're at in today's technology. With things changing and, and we wouldn't have. Yeah. You know. But if we lease a greater and we pay greater over five years, we don't have to come with a whole money run up that. I have eight thousand nine hundred dollars in that little tech fund that I get off the register of fees that I don't use. I don't know I can't use it on. I wonder if we can use it. How much is in that MLC fund that we can't really figure out what to use it for? I don't know. Where is that? Remember we talked about that a while back. That all that money is still sitting there. Some tax free bank. What do you mean? In our ne neighborhood revitalization. Yeah. So where does that money come from? The property owners for the application. When you pay for an application. Okay. So that is the application money that's sitting there. Right. Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I have a hard time. I think we. I think Nita actually found it and said, "No." Yeah. Nita's yeah. probably been using it no. on her bill since she was. I can't remember <laughs> where I found it. I'll have to look for that and get back to it's you. Good. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what do you what do you guys think from what we're talking about? Do you think I will we'll be going in the right direction again then? Or I think you would. You know, yeah. Because trying to find that person that knows the the GSI system and then trying to get them to move to St. John, I mean, might be a huge expense. You know, if we have this, I mean, that's basically you're taking toward. We don't have to hire such a high value employee. Mm -hmm. It'd be well, easier to fill. Yeah. And what is happening in this GIS field is more colleges, community colleges, and I don't know, state colleges are offering a degree, you know, either an associate degree or a bachelor's degree in GIS. And, and is it a time sort of go out? No, no, we just can't touch their salaries because now they got a degree in it. Yeah. Because they wouldn't come here for thirty one thousand dollars. If someone had a year or two experience in GIS, it's just like way back when someone had a little bit of experience in CAD, 
it was just drafting. Yeah. It was about, you know, oh yeah, I'll hire you. Well now, it's become specialized. And like I said, the community colleges offer an associate's degree as a GIS, right? Mm -hmm. And I think even boy offers you now. Some of the high schools. And this gal, the one I talked to, the one that was in Dickinson County, I mean, she she was on it. She was, she was a degree GIS, whatever it is, technician. Or and those people would probably administrate. We probably get touch them for 55000 Yeah, I like the direction that you're okay. going with that. Uh, but I mean, I guess we need to figure out if they can work around that written contract okay. because I can't see them come around. <clears throat> Sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. Enough. So I mean, I guess you can contact them and see what okay. they're willing to do. Okay. On this, I do have a question on these tax rule corrections. Okay. Like here, you know, there isn't any change on any numbers uh -huh. or anything. What? Well, I don't know exactly which one this is. This is where on oil and gas, on some leases where they we don't get to write in uh, roll tailors, the values are going to match up to the same thing. Yeah, it's just getting, I think that's a personal property. Yeah. Right? So it was probably... A couple it, of them from Maryland that had zero change. So it might be like an address change mm -hmm. or a well, person's name is the correction on there? I'd have to look at this one. There's like two or three of them there. I was going to touch base with her when she got back and make sure that, that it was correct because it seems odd that there's no, there was no value, no change. I'd have to do some research on that. You can get a whole book out. Then go ahead and through them, and then we can correct yeah, them. Okay. Well, if we do all the money, we need to get it to them. But it wouldn't be money. But we're not doing nothing with that. I know. That's why I wonder if, she, if it was right. Why else yeah. did she send it through? See? But it's probably something as easy as either a name change or an address. Well, it should or be. It should get, no, the value should change. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just grab those out after they approve them, and I'll get with her. Can you that money? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or bring it back today and minus. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Because they have to be, you know, and the oil ones is usually the oil is pretty easy. One minus play. and three or four pluses. Yeah, or yeah. ten or fifteen. Yeah. Those. I'd have to double check. Yeah, I thought it was odd too. Okay. So I'll proceed on with this and get the proposal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, the ag use values come out tomorrow, so um, so I'll bring that stuff into you. Uh, I'm in class next week, so I'll bring it in the next week to let you know. What the We're the probably the going day. down. Or <clears throat> I'm not. Are we getting near the down or two on the eight-year yeah. cycle? Yeah. I think so. I think for I'm starting years. to feel like you just dangle that carrot out there. It's never going to get it. Well, one more year. Yeah. It's a long time. Like You've been on here 20 years and it's never come yet? Like said, one more year. Seven or eight years. Eight years. Eight, eight, years. eight, eight years. years. I mean, there's, there's, still gonna, there's still some good years in there, and yet, but you're also losing some bad years now. Uh, that that uh, the drought, you know, 1909. That was terrible. Yeah. Although I did have one guy tell me over at Stafford that that's the most money he's ever made because he had no good job church. So, okay, well, I'll pursue this on and thanks for being on and Merlin. Do you have any questions for me? No. Okay, we'll look into that too. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Rob? Yeah. I just need to. <laughs> let you know a few things. Um, when you go to sign checks, you're going to find one that's a little larger than it didn't get approved by you all. I actually ordered this piece of equipment. The price has been up quite a bit. And before it was all said and done, it was $1,500. And on the thousand I tried to come to you, didn't much know. But the uh, taser, when we have the new guy, and that's something that slipped my mind. I never did order one. So I had to get one in these people ordered those once, what, two years ago, I believe it was, and they said they were going to go up. Yeah, they went up quite yeah. a bit. They went up several hundred dollars. And then the extra cartridges with them and things like that, so it's only $1,500. So I just want to let you know when it comes through, that was one that got a 
beyond me a little bit. Should have caught on to it faster, but I did. I'll let you know we did uh, hire the new deputy to replace him. He'll start right after the first year. His name is Greg McAllister. He actually lives in Mark right now. His wife's a teacher here at the school system here. Where's the He's currently working for Jensen's Order there. Is that Jensen's Order? Or he's working for the place there. I'm not sure. Does he got some luck? But he does not. He has, he's been a prison guard. Uh, he had like nine years, I believe, what it is. We had some that were certified officers, but after checking into them, So, so he'll, have to go to the he'll have to go to the academy. And we're not sure when. The first one might be in March, I believe. But we're, we'll just have to see when they can get him in. When will he start? He'll start uh, the 2nd of January. So I think it'll be his first day. So what will he be able to do between January when he comes out of the can He can do it. He'll do mostly a, basically a ride along for a while until we figure it out. And then he can ride with the other officer and stuff. But he'll have the full authority to do anything, even if, even though he's not certified yet, and then he'll go. They give up to a year before they have to go to the cabinet. But normally we try to get them as fast as we can. So, young guy? No, he's, he, he's middle-aged. Uh, I think he's mid-30s. Yeah, that's yeah. him. <laughs> that's, that's the young guy. That's, that's, that's the young guy to me. Yeah. Yeah. I think his wife is the English teacher in St. Paul. Yes. Okay. So do you think they'll, uh, since they're both working in St. Tom? That's the only thing that's kept him, yeah, him getting a job over this way that they haven't moved. You know, actually, have so they're going to be working on that. That's Did you have a tabletop thing Sunday in Stafford? So, uh, Sunday morning there was a, uh, it was more for the hospital than anybody, I believe. And it was a, a mass shooting again there at the Ritz Theater. Yeah. <laughs> what did you call it? A tape or what? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah well, tabletop exercise. It involved the EMS and around. the fire and law enforcement and so on. Like that. So, did you guys work with that? We went to, we were just uh, basically uh, control officers, safety officers, myself, and Tom was. Uh, Clayton was actually kind of heading it up because when it first got started, something happened, I don't know, and it dropped the ball off. But it was kind of a rush, rush deal again. And then we had a couple officers came out and ran to help with just a safety, just to watch what's going on and kind of retreat. But you know, for our side of it, then they were, it was critiqued by EMS on their side and their fire. And the fire yeah, I saw the cars, and I thought I was missing out on a great movie. <laughs> there was a move playing for a little while. I mean. <laughs> okay. So, not to have a heart attack when we get to the bathroom, right? Yeah, it, it was just, just one. Just one. And that's the last of for a while. <laughs> Yeah, just approving the uh, It's just odd that 
there's no guidance. I don't think there's just three or more. All right. Approve them without, the without the three that we can draw. The three that we take out. Second. Okay. I move the second. We adopt tax roll corrections. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. I make a motion that we accept the minutes for the November 28th meeting. Second. And move the second. We adopt the minutes for November 20th. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Four minutes. Four minutes. Five. 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 Four. A recess. A recess. Not A recess. Copy. Why don't we just recess? Yeah. That's what I said. What? Carol, recess. Okay. Um. I have the news notice from the leading municipalities. Um, for 19, it's $7.96.10, so I would like to go ahead and uh, pay the dues. I use them a lot for legal questions. They have a really good desk reference that I get. Uh, it's, just, it's just a good tool for us to have, but I just want to make sure it's okay if I... Yeah, you have room in your budget. It comes out of my general. Oh, nice. Okay. They're in the same building. Just consensus. Consensus on it. I didn't know that until I went down there to that meeting. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 We move to say we got an executive session for non elected personnel that we need a present. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Aye. 